Dan, some news just broke uh, not long ago. Sheldon Richardson released by the Browns defensive tackle. Now, he was due to make $13.6 million in salary. There is a $1.6 million uh, plus a little change dead cap money hit. So $12 million in savings on the salary cap. Um, with the release of Sheldon Richardson defensive tackle last year, 64 tackles, uh, 4.5 sacks, 30-some solos. Um, a little bit of a surprising move. Uh, what do you make of, of Richardson's release? You know, I was surprised when it happened, and right now I guess this is one of those let's trust in Andrew Barry moments. He's earned the benefit of the doubt, and we'll see how this plays out. Uh, you know, you mentioned the money with Sheldon Richardson, and, and maybe this is the Browns playing the long game a little bit, uh, deciding to go with, you know, they've got Jordan Elliott, Malik Jackson, Andrew Billings. Maybe they draft a defensive tackle now higher than than maybe we would have expected. Uh, so they've got some guys in there, and maybe they're looking at this as, you know, yes, it's the last year of Sheldon Richardson's contract, but maybe this turns into cap rollover space or gives them some flexibility uh, down the road and, you know, early in camp if they want to sign somebody or make a trade. But, you know, this is a move that I don't love right now, but at the same time, maybe a year from now or two years from now, we're saying, okay, that worked out. But uh, this is just sort of a, a let's give Andrew Barry and his crew the benefit of the doubt at this point because they've earned it. And the other thing is, is you brought up, brought up a really important point. Remember, this could be um, as far as you can roll over cap savings so you, you're going to need that money coming up because you have some, some extensions that are due next year. Right, and, and that could be part of their thinking here is, is planning into the future. You know, I, I hate to sit and worry about the cap in like 2025, but, uh, you know, that's part of Andrew Barry and Paul DePodesta and, and Kwesi Adofu Mensa's job. They've got to worry about the cap down the road as they hand out some of these extensions. I don't think the cap will be as crunched as maybe some people do. I think that TV money will kick in and give teams a lot more space. But the reality is this roster is going to start to transform itself into a top heavy roster where you have a few guys on top getting paid and then you've got to supplement it with draft picks. And let's also not forget, you know, when you look at cap space, they've also got two veteran receivers who are getting close to 30 both making, you know, together $30 million. So, you know, this move kind of sends the signal that, how sustainable is that moving forward? I don't think anything will happen this offseason in that regard, but that's something to keep an eye on moving forward with how they approach Odell Beckham and Jarvis Landry. And again, this is something that good franchises that have talent have to do every single year. So, you know, welcome to the NFL Browns fans. This is this is the reality of, of running in a successful and um, talent-rich franchise. Yeah, you're, you're going to have to give up guys that you like, and it's going to be veteran guys, and Sheldon Richardson is one of those. I mean, he's kind of the prime example, and coming into this, this offseason, I wondered if the Browns might make a move there. But, you know, as it all kind of played out, it seemed like he might end up being safe. But then you add Malik Jackson. You know, I mentioned those guys with Andrew Billings coming back. Jordan Elliott is a guy they really liked last year, and he's a guy that pro football focus really likes. They had him pretty high up on their draft board last year, and the Browns got him in the third round. We didn't hear his name called a lot, but but he played a decent amount. So at some point, he's got to get his opportunity. And when you kind of do that math, now you add Jadavian Clowney into the mix. I don't know if that's a direct choice, but that certainly impacted Sheldon Richardson's future here. And, you know, the other thing that is important to note, Clowney can kick inside and play inside some. So there's, there's um, some versatility there.